are we, sister? Who are we? Who are we? You don't know? Who are we, sister? What's your name again? Christina! Who are we? We are the 12 tribes of Israel! That's who we are! We are the Jews! The Bible speaks about re. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6 For now are a holy people The Most High God says We are a holy people We don't Unto the Lord thy God Unto God the Father God Almighty is a black man right. I'm going to say it again God Almighty is a black man right. We don't The Lord thy God has And that black God chose the Israelites We right. don't special people unto That's God. Right. We are a special people. We are not niggas. We are not spicks. We are not homosexual. A lot of us are today. I don't know what's going on with that. But we are God's chosen people. That's who we are. We. Unto himself. Above all people. We are what? Above all people. Christina. Are you we above all people? How do you, how, why do you say we are above all people? Do you believe we are above all people? What does that mean to be above everybody? What does that mean, Christina? We're chosen. We're God's people. We're chosen. We are God's people. Meaning we are above white people. We are above Chinese people. That's right. We are above Arab people. Right, right, we are right. above everybody. Right, right. We are God's chosen people. For example, you see a lot of our brothers sag their pants? It's wicked. But when we do it, or the other races try to do it and copy us. You right. notice that, right? When the when we start rapping, all the other nations want to rap like Eminem, wear mm -hmm. pants to show off how they look. How, how much junk is in their trunk. That's why a lot of women today wear pants. Do you have a lot of women today that wear pants because they feel that God says they can do whatever they want to? Let's read that again. Titus chapter 2 verse 12 teaching us that Denying ungodliness. What does grace teach us? Denying ungodliness. What is ungodliness? Sin. Selling drugs is a sin. Women wearing pants is a sin. Homosexuality is a sin. That's right. Being a transgender is a sin. Right. That is a sin according to the Bible. Women wearing knees with blonde hair. That's a sin. Now let's read that again. This is the book of Titus chapter 2 and verse 12. Teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust. So the Bible says we have to deny ungodliness and worldly what? Lust. What is worldly lust? Pornography. Is that not worldly lust? Strip clubs. Is that not worldly lust? God says we have to deny that from ourselves, from our minds. Read on. We should live soberly. The Bible says we should live Soberly. What does it mean to live sober? Clear-minded. So when you smoke weed, you are not sober. Right. When you're getting drunk on alcohol, you're not sober. Right. When you're doing crack, you're not sober. Right. Right. When you're doing pills, you are not sober. Right. Why? Because God says you are a special people right. to God. Right. So we cannot be drinking. We cannot be smoking weed. We cannot be smoking cigarettes because that's not sober. <coughs> Who understands that? Sister, you understand that? Read on. Righteously. Righteously. Read on. And godly in this present world. So what we got to do in this what? Present world. So we got to live godly in what world? The present. What does the present mean? Right now. So whatever applied to us back then, it has to be done now. It has to be fulfilled now in 2016. Who understands that? Who got questions in the audience? Questions. Sister, you got a question? Brother, you got a question? You don't got a question? Question. How many sisters are married out here? Raise your hand. Married. I'm talking about with legal papers. Not common. Common law marriages. Common law marriages. Okay. Give me the book of Hebrew. You already read my mind. Professor X. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 13 and verse 4. So the question is, how does, a, how does a woman find a righteous man? Because the reason why the black community is messed up is, is because we do not have righteous family structure in the house. That's the one thing that's messing us up. 
The first thing is we're following the wrong God. A lot of us are following Arabs, Muslim, we're following Egypt, ph philosophy, and we're following the right Jesus. That's the first thing that's wrong with us. We're following the wrong God. The second thing is the family structure is destroyed. Read. Yeah. Marriage is honorable in all. The Bible says marriage is honorable. The word honorable means respected. That's what that means. To honor someone means you respect them on a high scale. The reason why the black community is messed up in New Jersey, in New York City, and from Atlanta, all over the earth where we live, the reason why it's messed up because marriage, the, the, the value of marriage is low. Everybody want to have sex one night, booty calls, be docs on the corner, be hoes, be whoremongers. That's what's wrong with the black community today. Read it again. Marriage is honorable in all. Marriage is honorable. We have to start getting married again. One wife, the Bible says, man must have one wife. The reason why we are messed up is women want to be hoes now. They want to sleep with different men. They want to be on social media and post nude photos of themselves. That is out of order with God. Right. Well, if you're calling yourself a Christian, because I'm going to tell you something. Most of the people I know that's wicked as hell and whores and showing their cell phone pictures, they are Christian. That's right. They go to the Christian church. They go to church every Sunday. But Saturday, where they at? In the club. Right. Every Saturday, they are in the club, but on Sunday they say, praise Jesus, hallelujah. Right. Because a lot of Christians are hoes. I'm going to tell you straight. That's right. Read that Bring again. Out. Marriage is honorable in all. So the Bible says we must get married honorable. How? Read on. And the bed undefiled. A whoremonger is the black man today. Brothers that sex many women, that's a whoremonger. Read on. Whoremongers. And adulterers. Whoremongers and adulterers. People who sleep outside of their marriage. That's an adulterer. You cheat on your husband. You cheat on your wife. Read on. God will judge. How will God judge these whoremongering men? He's going to give them a disease. The blue waffle. Some brothers got STDs, AIDS. Why? Because God judged them. That's God creates diseases. Right. God creates diseases. God creates disease, sickness, everything. God is not all love. God creates evil too. And all you brothers, that's not being a man, you should be ashamed of your damn self. That's right. right. You should be ashamed. The reason why the black community is out of order because you black men failed. Right. You failed. I'm in my 20s. The older generation did not teach me the proper thing. I had to learn the Bible to understand the proper examples. Right. The older brothers, only thing they talk about is stuffing curry. Right. The Golden State Warriors. That's the only thing black men can talk about. Jordan sneakers, video games. Well, we, we, we need leadership. We need role models. We need fathers. We need husbands. We need men of God. That's, That's right. right. We don't need niggas on the corner selling weed. We don't need that. Men that's looking up all these women, breaking their neck trying to look at these women. We don't need that. Right. We need righteous men that's yeah. going to take care of their family. We are getting tired of baby mama and baby daddy foolishness. Right. right. Read that again. Yeah. Marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled but whoremongers whoremongers you brothers that's sleeping around having sex with sisters one brother told me he said listen i caught a disease but i had two condoms on a, a, a double rack god is going to going to judge you how else will god judge you child support a lot of you brothers are getting plagued with child support and God says you must take care of your kids. Read that again. Marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled. But whoremongers and adulterers, God will judge. So if you be in a hole and you be in a whoremonger, meaning a man sleeping around, God going to judge you. 
One day you're gonna meet that wrong brother. He gonna have boils on his penis, and you gonna have sex with him, and you gonna catch a disease. That's I'm right. Straight up, get that. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 61. Also, every sickness, every sickness, and every plague, every plague, which is not written in the book of this law. Because AIDS, herpes, and gonorrhea, and syphilis, and chlam chlamydia, that's not written in the Bible. So God says every sickness, every disease that is not written in the Bible, them. Will the Lord bring upon thee? God says, you know, this is how God, this is how God operates in the heavens. He sees Brother Tyrone in we in Newark, New Jersey, right? He's gonna see a brother. God is watching him. He has a wife. He sees another woman he bangs. God says, you know what? Boom! Give him a disease. That's how it works. Right. That's how God works. You yeah. cannot escape God. You cannot escape the power of God. You understand that? So you sisters that need husbands, come to IUIC. Come to Israel United in Christ. We have righteous men, and you brothers that need wives, we have righteous women. But we need your mind to be right. Because we don't, we don't tolerate boyfriend and girlfriend. We don't tolerate baby daddy. We don't tolerate baby mama. What do we tolerate? Righteousness. Why? Because we are the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. That's who we are. That's who we be. We follow Christ, the black Messiah. Jesus Christ is a black man. That's right. Who understands that? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Raise your hand with the red, with the red purse. Raise your hand. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Let's read that. This is the book of Revelations, chapter 1. And verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. We follow Christ and he has woolly hair. So Jesus Christ is black. We follow the black Messiah. We don't follow the white man as, the, as Christ. The white Jesus, the white Jesus Christ is the devil the Bible speaks of. Islam is the devil. Egyptology is the devil. We gotta follow God's laws. That's because you know why? Why? Because we are the 12 tribes. We are Judah. We are Benjamin. We are Levi. We are Ephraim. We are Manasseh. We are Simeon. We are Gad. We are Reuben. We are Asher. We are Issachar. We are Naphtali. That's who we are. Shock to your heart. Understand that. Read that again. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So we follow Christ. He has woolly hair. A lot of you women like to perm your hair because. You see white women with blonde hair. You see Indian women with straight hair. So you perm it. Who knows what I'm talking about? Let's be honest. They know what I'm talking about. They go to uh, Ching Chong over there and y'all get the hair. Am I not lying? That's true. Sister Smiling. It's true. Let's get that Proverbs. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 31. Envy thou not the oppressor. Somebody look up uh, on Google. Look up the magazine. Most beautiful woman in the world. Uh, what's it? Uh, Judith, what's her name? The sister from Shallow How. The Edomite lady. Oh, Find that for me. Um, we got it again. Envy thou not the oppressor. Envy thou not the oppressor. What is who's the oppressor? Yeah, you simple. Listen. Stop being simple, brother. You are, you are a Judite. You are a, a chosen pe a seed of God. Let me that. Now, I want the magazine. Put most beautiful woman in the world. Oh, matter of fact, we typed this in on Google just now. We typed in most beautiful woman in the world. I want y'all sisters to look. Come, come. Look, come closer, don't. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. I think y'all was born question. You're never scared. Listen, listen. Look at this. I want you to see it. Who is it? White. It's who? <laughs> it's a white woman. Look at this. You got a uh, white girl. You got, what's that? I forgot her name. Yes, give me that picture. This is the, uh, Winner Paltrow. That's her name. Most, the world, listen, the world's most beautiful woman. Let's look at what it is. Winner Paltrow. 
a white one. Hold on, hold on. This, this. Oh, 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 oh. So let me ask. So it went off. Oh, we got cheap phones. We're going to get it right. We're going to get it right. Here it is. Look, look, look. So I want your, I want your reaction to that. I want your live leak YouTube reaction. Sister in the green, what do you think about that? I can't hear you. I know you loud, I know. Thanksgiving come through, you screaming at everybody. Yes. No, what did you feel when you saw that? That's not how I feel about myself. That's good. What do you feel? How do you feel about yourself? You're right. You're a beautiful sister. Why? Because you're an Israelite. That's how do you feel? That is a bunch of crap. It's a bunch of crap. So. Because everybody knows black people. Now listen. Now, a lot of sisters don't feel like that in their mind. True. That's why you get the blonde hair, the blonde weave, the blonde straightener. Why? Because something in their subconscious tells them that they are not beautiful on how they are. They were told by a magazine, by TV, by the internet, that what? They're not beautiful. Right. You understand that? But we are beautiful. We are original royalty. You understand that? We got it, we got it again. Proverbs 3 and 31. Envy thou not the oppressor. The Bible says, Envy thou not the oppressor. You know what? And choose none of his ways. And choose none of the Who's the oppressor? Who? The white man. What's his biblical name? The Edomites. They are the ones that oppresses us today. The Bible says, Envy thou not the oppressor. You know what? And choose none of his ways. One of his ways is what we just read. What we just saw on the phone. Blonde hair weave. Straightening the hair. Christmas. Christmas is a sin according to the Bible. Right. Thanksgiving. What's the holiday coming up? 4th of July. 4th of July. We're not supposed to be celebrating this stuff. We don't. For the forward is abomination to the Lord. The Most High God is telling us that the forward is the white people. They are abomination. Now read Wisdom of Solomon. Yeah. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 13 and verse 3. Who's, with whose beauty, if they being delighted, took them to be gods? Let them know how much better the Lord of them is. For the first author of beauty hath created them. So, what the Most High is saying is, we are the author of what? Beauty. That's what God is saying. For the first author of beauty hath created them. So, we are the beautiful people. The black man. We're not black, but I say black because that's the only name you identify with. You are an Israelite. That's right. You understand that? Brother, you understand that? Because the Bible says we got to call the brothers as well. Actually, give me that Proverbs. Eight verse four. Eight verse four. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter eight and verse four. Unto you, O men. Unto you, O men. I call. Who is God calling? Unto you, O men. I call. Unto you, O men, I call. Who is God calling? God is calling you. The black man. God is calling these black brothers to get their minds right. Stop sagging. Stop being a nigger. Be a, a Jew. You know. And my voice is to the sons of men. And God's voice, meaning when the prophets speak, the word of God hits the brothers first. Shalom is 
I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.